of Chick-fil-A say gay people should get married because God's against that sort of thing. After all, God only made gay people because he lost the formula for making Mexicans. If you can't make Mexicans, then you must make homosexuals. If that statement makes no sense to you, then you know how I feel when someone tells me an invisible man lives in the sky. Anyway, the chicken man who hates the gays has pissed off liberals. They're so mad they almost dropped their lattes. The liberals say they will not be eating at Chick-fil-A because they are so outraged by discrimination. These are the very same liberals who were voting for Barack Obama, who was also against gay marriage up until a short time ago. Yet they didn't talk about boycotting Obama. I guess in the president's defense, he has the added benefit of killing Muslims. If a guy is against marriage equality, kind of an asshole. But if he's going to kill Muslims living overseas, you can't deny the redeeming value. The chicken man only kills chickens. If only the chicken man had a kill list that kills human beings, maybe liberals wouldn't be so mad at him. If you kill a 70-year-old American citizen with a drone like President Obama, liberals will vote for you. If you just stick to killing chickens, uh, but say something stupid about gay marriage, liberals will hate you. Boy, I'm sure glad of all those studies that show liberals are the smart ones. Speaking of smart, who's smarter than Mitt Romney? Mitt Romney is a Republican running for president of the United States, and yet he keeps his money in other countries. Conservatives used to say how horrible liberals were for wanting to live in another country when George Bush was president. The same conservatives will now vote for Mitt Romney, who has his money living in another country. What you guess is okay. I mean, according to the Supreme Court, money is free speech. This means Mitt Romney is just spreading free speech to the oppressed people of Switzerland. You know, for the life of me, I can't understand why people don't vote. I vote. If I only had one vote to cast right now, I'd cast it for people who do comedy for a living, not having to be told what's funny by people who don't do comedy for a living. Dale Tosh got in trouble for making light of rape. Dale Tosh didn't actually rape anybody, but while rape is bad, making jokes about rape is so much worse. Dane Cook made a joke about mass shootings in Colorado. Shooting people is bad, but joking about it is right up there with the Holocaust. See how that works? If you tell jokes for a living and tell a rape joke, you are a horrible person. If you tell jokes for a living and joke about shootings, you are a horrible person. If you sell fried chicken for a living and have a stupid opinion on gay marriage, you are a hard person who needs to be boycotted. But if you take your wealth to say nothing of jobs and send them overseas, like Mitt Romney, or if you kill people convicted of nothing, like Barack Obama, then at least half the country will vote for you. I'm sure glad I live in America, where we have our priorities straight.